The other day, I heard someone using ir instead of irse. That's a common mistake. You see, ir and irse are like the Olsen twins. If you're not familiar with them, which I'm not, they look the same. However, like the Olsen twins, ir and irse have their own personalities. In this video, I'm going to teach you what the differences between ir and irse are. I'm also going to give you some tips so you can use these verbs like a native speaker and I'm going to give you a quiz so you can put these verbs into practice. Hi everyone, this is Daniela from Tell Me in Spanish y estoy aquí para ayudarte a hablar español de forma más natural. Ir and irse are super important in Spanish. You cannot ignore them. So, I'm going to teach you how to use them. Let's start with the nice twin, ir. Ir means to go which means that you are going to use it to express destination or direction. In human words, that means that you are going to use ir to say that you're going somewhere. And let me show you this drawing, this perfect drawing of me. When I use ir, I'm saying that I'm going from point A to point B, okay? And to do that, you're going to use ir plus a plus a noun and that noun is going to be the place where you're going to. You also use ir in Spanish to talk about the actions that you're about to do. That's what we call the near, the near future and we use it a lot, we don't use it all the time, but I'm going to give you a link in the description so you can check how and when to use this tense. To build this near future tense you're going to use ir plus a plus an infinitive verb. And check something very important. Most of the time, ear has to work with something else. It cannot work alone, okay? Let me give you some examples. Mañana vamos a comer pizza. Tomorrow we are going to eat pizza. <sighs> Lucky you. If you order Hawaiian, please save me a slice. Example number two. Mi hermana no fue a la escuela. My sister didn't go to school, and yet she looks well enough to be playing Candy Crush. Check these last examples because these two are the ones that people confuse the most. Ya voy, I'm coming. This one is a short response to say that you're about to do something. For example, let's say that we're going to the movies, like we said, well, to eat pizza. We're going to, to eat pizza and you're waiting for me at the door. So obviously you're going to say, Daniela, apurate, hurry up. My response is going to be, ay, ya voy, I'm coming, I'm coming, relax. Check example number four. Vamos al cine. Let's go to the movies. Vamos, in this context, we're going to use it to propose, to make suggestions to people to do something or to go somewhere. Vamos al cine, vamos a comer pizza, okay? Let's go to check the evil twin, irse. Irse is the twin that people think has the most complicated personality. No, he's pretty cool. He is pretty cool, but it's just misunderstood. Let me show you. Irse is also a twin that has like the little nose or like something different on his face that you can tell them apart. In this case, that difference is the ending. Check, ir, irse. If you see, irse ends with a pronominal pronoun. And this is going to make a huge difference, okay? This is huge. We use irse to express, and this is important, to express and emphasize that someone is leaving a place, okay? Check here how am I, how I'm leaving my house to go somewhere. To build this meaning, like we already said, the main difference is the pronoun. So we're going to use a reflexive pronoun plus ir plus complement. However, in this case, the complement is completely optional. Unlike ir, Irse can work alone. Let me show you how. Luis se va el 15 de julio. Luis leaves on July 15. Where are you going, Luis? Are you taking us? Example number two. 
¿Ya se fue tu hermano? Did your brother already leave? Check that in this case, I'm not adding any more information. I'm just asking if my brother already left. Now, check example number three and four because I purposely make them similar <laughs> to you just so I can show you the difference between these verbs. Ya me voy a trabajar. I'm going to work. Even though in this case it's translated as to go, I'm going to work. When I say ya me voy in Spanish, I'm emphasizing that I'm leaving, okay? I'm leaving this place. I know I don't want to go to work. I want to keep chatting with you, but I have to. So I'm leaving this place so I can go do my work. The fourth example, vámonos, and check this difference because again, you have a pronoun here. Check the difference, vamos al cine, let's go to the movies, versus vámonos, let's go. In this case, vámonos, no me gusta este lugar, I don't like this place, it's more like, let's get out of here. There's something wrong with your friends, I don't want to be here, please, let's go, okay? Don't rely on translation all the time because as you can see, in many cases, irse and ir share the same translation, but you're not expressing the same. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm going to make this very simple for you. Answer me this. Why did Irse cross the road? Yes, so it can leave to the other side. <sighs> I know, I need to work on my jokes. So before we go, let me give you a quick quiz so you can put these verbs into practice. Your job is very simple, just fill in the blanks. Number one, this is the only sentence that you're going to conjugate in the perfect tense. Okay, number one, mi hermano, blank, hace rato. Number two, Juan, blank, al supermercado todos los días. Number three, a donde, blank, Carlos. Number four, Linda, ya, blank, es muy temprano. And number five, Laura y Juan, blank, a ver una película. Leave your answers in the comments and if I need to give you feedback, I will. So before I finish this video, I want to give you some extra resources in case you need to go a little bit deeper into this topic. The first one is a video on this same lesson, just in Spanish. That way you get to practice your listening a little bit more. Number two, I'm going to leave you a link to a conjugation guide on ear. That way you know how to conjugate this verb to different tenses. And this is key you're going to use that same conjugation pattern for irse. The only difference is that you are going to add that pronoun, okay? And number three, I'm going to leave you a link to a guide with the differences between ir and irse. That way you can see extra examples. So that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and I hope to see you soon. Bye.